to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. So somebody hit my car on Monday night while I was in my car. At the Oya. Yeah. So we went there for dinner for my brother's birthday. And my brother had driven with my mom and dad. Um, and I, Roman and I were in my car. And I got in my car and Roman immediately remembers he can't find, uh, he that he left his car, his little matchbox car in the restaurant. So I called my mom and had my brother run in to the restaurant quickly to see if it was in there. So you were, you were pot committed though because your kids already know. Already in this car seat. Up. It's a big production. You can't just it lose It truly is, okay. yes. So my brother is is running into the restaurant and I am pulled out of my parking spot ready to turn right. And this guy is in front of me turning left into the parking lot of Ojan Flamingo in, in town center. And if you know um, which one I'm talking about, it's like that. And then there's, there's like a smoke shop and then there's Albertsons. Mm-hmm. So it's a fairly good space. Anyways, uh, my brother is is walking past my car at this moment that this guy is also turning into on my driver's side. So I see him coming in and I'm like, that's really tight. Like, I don't know what he's trying. I mean, there's so many other ways. Like yeah. you're very, very close to me. He does get in past me, but then he decides that he wants to park in the parking spot right behind my car and he hits my car. And I'm like, you just hit my, I was like, so I'm on the phone with my mom and I said, this guy just hit my car. I'm so confused. He hit my car and my brother sees it happen. So he's like, that guy just hit your car. And I'm like, I know. And <laughs> apparently we're the only ones that know because he gets out of his and goes to into the rest, well, walking into the restaurant. He said, uh, excuse me, sir, you just uh, hit my car. Pardon me, sir. My Lord. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I did. Yeah. I didn't know what you were doing. I said, that's... I don't know what that has anything to do with it. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing either, sir. But I was at I was completely stopped, and uh, he comes over, untucks his shirt, and starts rubbing my car <laughs> to like get the black off. I have a white car; his was black. And my mom uh, is she's ready to go. My of mom course. is ready to go, and she gets out of her car and she's coming over. And the guy's like, "Yeah, it's rubbing right off. It's not a big deal." What did I come here all the time? I said, well, "I don't know what that, that means either, sir." <laughs> What? You come to this parking lot a lot? Then you should know not to hit cars. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Oh, I was so mad. Nothing, maybe like something that needs to be buffed out, but I got it washed yesterday. There's no dent or anything. It was just so, it was such an awkward encounter because the oh, guy was, was just, uh, when Indignant. he untucked his shirt and was like rubbing my car. It's like, <laughs> it's like you know, get your put shirt your clothes off my back car. on. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? Come pick up your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, so here's here's the first place my head goes. Now, did he hit bumper or did he hit, like, side panel? Side, the side bumper. The side like, of so the, the bumper. Like, so the corner, yeah, okay. yeah. Now, what about the clear coat? You ever think of the clear coat? I'm sure that's rubbed off for yeah, sure. Sure. Now you get a clear you get a clear coat damage. Mm-hmm. That's a big deal. So I know my mom was like, "Get his information." I'm like, "I'm not getting his information. I'm just oh, leaving." Big mistake. And I, and then um, I was talking. But to it's a okay friend. though. You know where he is. He's always at the. He's Oya. always there. He goes there all the time. <laughs> he's at Mr. Oya. That's oh his name. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. We're talking about those awkward moments where you get hit or you end up hitting someone, and that talk that happens afterwards mm-hmm. is so bad. Yeah. Seven zero two five nine seven one zero two. So I've been I've been in my share of mm-hmm. accidents. Mostly not my fault. I've had a couple that have been my fault. I think I've handled the ones that have been my fault pretty well. I, uh, I bumped into a guy uh, at a, I, I thought he had gone forward, but he had stopped before he went fully you mm-hmm. know, merged into the road. So I tapped his bumper. Yeah. Luckily it was okay. But when he pulled over, he ran over like a nail or something and popped his tire. Oh so, no. So like, okay. I am partially responsible. Oh for this. no. So I went with him to a place and I gave him a hundred dollars for the new That's tire. That's nice of you. That's I felt, really nice. I yeah. felt like I owed him that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> when I was hit by a tractor trailer on uh-huh. Blue Diamond Road in an incident that occurred in February 2019 that set my life into a tailspin, <laughs> this woman hit my car, crushed it, didn't even ask how I was. She's in an 18 wheeler. Didn't even ask how it didn't speak to me uh-huh. and lied to a cop. 
Oh, my dear Lord. <laughs> I, oh, to this day, I still see her face. Yeah. Ooh, she is my, my <laughs> enemy. There was the time I was uh, at a red light uh, off of uh, the 15 in Tropicana. I had my foot down on a brake. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking over at my passenger seat because I was going to the Billboard Music Awards. I had like a stack of questions for every single artist. I was ready for whatever might come my way. Mm -hmm. And I was just making sure they were all clipped together. But while I was doing that, my foot, while on the brake, is not fully down on the brake. Mm -hmm. And I am slowly creeping towards this brand new Audi in front of me and just yeah. kissed the bumper. Yeah. And of course, the little screw for the front plate indents the bumper and I look at the guy I'm like oh no I say listen I will give you my insurance information but please don't report it get a figure out how much it is I'll pay you in cash yeah he's they ended up letting me get away with it which was awesome they mm -hmm. like no don't worry about it very very sweet what else I got I got sideswiped by a kid and his girlfriend in my 89 Volkswagen Cabriolet convertible mm -hmm. and I like brutal hit and I look out in, in, in my car and there's no damage I don't see anything I'm like I look at him I'm like you guys are so lucky go drive away yeah go. yeah so they go in their their uh, expedition and they drive away and I start driving and then my car is just wiggling oh no they broke my rear, rear axle because they hit my tire yeah. perfectly and I didn't notice it man Gosh. oh that awkward car. and then the Tesla I just got hit with my somebody hit my Tesla mm -hmm. he's like I didn't hit your Tesla. I'm like, your bumper's on it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. The last time I, I uh, rear-ended somebody, it was like in Meadows Mall parking lot. And um, and he, I got out. And at that, the car that I had didn't have a front license plate because how I used to judge that I was in the garage far enough was I would just hit Jaden's bike a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some people go for the tennis so, ball hanging from the ceiling. No, you just I go chose for, the bike. Yeah, the bike. So I would hit it, and as soon as I would see it, like, jolt a little bit, then I would know I was in. Well, <laughs> one time, I must have got in there a little bit too hard that the license plate was trapped into his, um, oh. the, the chain. <laughs> and so when I backed out, the bike stole my license plate and stripped it. <laughs> So I didn't have a license plate for a really long time in the front and just had the two holes and like the whole deal. Oh, that's great. And when I hit the guy, he got out and he said, looks like you do this a lot. <laughs> I, I do. I do. <laughs> My, we have a, we have a uh, space protector in our garage. We have mm -hmm. a, like one of those little baseball tees. Mm -hmm. And I have it set like in a perfect spot. So Marsha, you know, if you hit this, you know, it's too far. But what I find is it's a moving target because she moves it. Oh, and she yeah. doesn't think I know that she moves it, but like it moves like a foot and a half. <laughs> and it's like, uh, there's like a mark here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know, I know where this was. <laughs> we can't even get into the garage. We have to right. go once like when my son starts saying, Wow, that car's kind of forward. I'm like, yeah, yeah I know, Bert. <laughs> on the 15, and I'm in my big rig, and we're running 70 miles an hour on the freeway. And the lady in front of me in the left lane next to the carpool lane decides to stop so they can take pictures of Caesar's Palace. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, tourists are the worst. And, and the worst part about it was is she said, well, I thought you were empty so you could stop. <gasps> oh, my gosh, Russ. <laughs> Trucks don't stop very well empty. Sometimes we stop better when we're loaded. Yeah. Because oh, my God. Russ. Sounds like she was loaded. I got to be honest. Well, fast forward, we just found out she's trying to sue our company saying that she can't walk and she's wheel wheelchair bound. Oh, but I have photos and stuff of her walking around at the scene of the accident. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Ross. <laughs> Classic, right? Classic. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I've seen, I've seen stuff where I've had people roll into the back of my truck and uh, you backed up into me. Um, <laughs> no, we're sitting at a red light and the air brakes are locked up. Yeah. <laughs> you rolled forward. What company you do you work pulled? for? Um, well, we're contracted to 84 Lumber in town. Oh, cool, cool, And cool. our company's based out of Sacramento. Good. If you were Werner, I'd have to stop talking to you. I hate that company. Oh, no. The worst one is Swift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, I've actually yeah. seen some bad things Yeah, they're about pretty that. brutal. Pretty oh. brutal. Well, you know, you know what Swift stands for, right? No. It stands for see what I effed up today. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you, Russ.